Welcome to the project demonstration of IoT based battery monitoring and controlling system for EV system. So here uh, EV vehicles uh, we need to monitor the battery voltage levels and current levels continuously and also we need to uh, maintain the temperature of this battery pack should be normal always. So for this task we are making use of Arduino and uh, for voltage and current monitoring purpose we are making use of two sensors uh, which are used to measure the voltage and the current and temperature of the battery pack continuously measured by this thermistor sensor and based on these three values the system will control the voltage levels and current levels and uploading these values to the Thingspeak cloud platform for monitoring purpose and coming to the controlling purpose whenever the high temperature is occurred from this temperature sensor then the system will on this coolant fan make the temperature of this battery pack should be low so that is the purpose of this project and continuously measuring the voltage current levels and displaying on the LCD screen along with upload the same data to the Thingspeak with the help of this ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and coming to the main components and power flow so we are uh, mounted this device inside a EV vehicle and which will get the power supply from this battery pack only this battery pack consists of 3.7 volts battery pack of 3000 mAh, uh, mAh of mid mil milliamps per current uh, can be uh, provided from this battery pack and these three are in series so we will get 12 volt to 1 amp uh, sorry 12 volts 11.1 volt to 3000 mAh uh, voltage and current will be output so th that is the input to the uh, DC motor which will representing as a EV vehicle uh, DC motor and the processing unit is Arduino you know and the next this current and voltage sensor directly providing the input to this Arduino Uno you know board and uh, this is a switch to one of the motherboard and this is a switch to one of this EV vehicle mm -hmm. and this one is a breadboard to distribute the 5 volts power supply uh, to throughout the input and output modules and this is a LCD display to show the status and ESP8266 to upload the data to the thing speak and this is a transistor board which will act as a switch to one end of this fan whenever the temperature crosses the threshold value and uh, here we have provided the charging circuits through this transformer means to the grid we can charge this battery pack as uh, we are representing this as a EV vehicle uh, battery pack right the EV system can be recharged through this transformer just on the power supply to this one so first of all we need to connect the battery at this B slots and on the uh, power supply to the transformer there we can see the light indication which will show the status of battery is charging so it will take 2 hours to be get fully charged till the duration we should keep the battery under charging and uh, after that you can disconnect this so before demonstration the first step is we should keep the battery under full charge for at least of 2 hours and then this is the main on off switch is a power switch to on the power supply to the system and this is on off switch to power supply to this DC motor just we on this uh, there we can see the welcome message initially on this LCD as well as uh, next current and voltages will be displayed on the screen continuously so here we can see the temperature is 28 degree centigrade and voltage 11.1 11.61 uh, volts and current is uh, 0 as of now there is no input to the uh, DC motor so when we on this right we can get the current reading over here right actually before demonstration before on the power supply to this cage first of all we need to on the hotspot in your phone so for that go to hotspot settings of your phone change the hotspot name to project 7157 and password should be 2, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 after enabling the hotspot and the uh, should be 2.4 gigahertz after enabling these settings on the hotspot and we can see the one device is connected so after you enable the hotspots then only on the power supply to the kit then we can get the one device is connected and next coming to the Thingspeak just log into the Thingspeak cloud platform from the given credentials there we can see the channel called as data there we can see the data is uploading to this one so in the dot you can check the temperature and the voltages sorry right voltages and the current <coughs> there's a field 2 is a voltage field 1 is a temperature and field 3 current so we can get the live parameters before uh, we can erase that but before erasing that go to data import exports means take a backup of this uh, previously stored data download that so it will be downloaded in excel sheet formats so you can open by opening that we can get the details of uh, so called uh, date and time and how many samples still now collected and first one is as we discussed temperature voltage and current details right after we took the backup now go to private view sorry 
channel settings and in that only do delete channel sorry clear channel sorry clear channel don't do any other things don't delete the channel sorry only clear the channel and uh, after clear the channel successfully go to private view there we can get the old age temperature current so previous data got erased now wait 10 to 15 seconds of duration means the system will take 10 to 15 seconds of, uh, seconds of duration to be uploaded the data to this things the cloud platform you can see the live blinking on this one ESP double six. So now the data is uploading to this uh, ThingSpeak channel. Right. So you can see the data is got arrived. So 11.61 volts and this is temperature is 28 as well as this. Temperature uh, current is close to half point. Right. So that would be all right. And now uh, coming to this temperature. So whenever we increase the temperature, let's use any uh, external heater. Then we can see the temperature rising. And when it crosses the threshold value, we, there we set the temperature threshold is 35 degrees centigrade. Then when it is crossed that, then automatically the fan got switched on. And uh, once the temperature is comes down to normal, <coughs> yeah, 40 degrees, we set the temperature limit. So when it comes to normal, then automatically it will get switched off. Once again, we check that. Right. So, in this manner, we are going to monitoring and controlling the EV uh, battery system with the uh, temperature and voltage current parameters monitoring 